Hello children, nice to see you all back again. First language English, my 8th standard friends are here, am I right? Yes children, and today's chapter for discussion is prose piece, yes, the 6th lesson, ok. And what is the name of the lesson? Model Millennia, the model Millennia by Oscar Wilde, ok children. And have you gone through the lesson? No? Fine. Let us have a look at the lesson. Hope you have taken your textbooks, a pen and a notebook in your hand. Are you ready? And before we go to the lesson, shall we have a story time? Listen to the story. I hope you all will enjoy. Greet neighbor peace. Hello kids. Hi Grandpa, what is the story for today? We are very eager to listen. <laughs> sure, today I will narrate you the story of a goldsmith and a magician. Once upon a time, there lived a goldsmith. People who were in need of money came to him and mortgaged their gold ornaments. This, this is what I can give you. The goldsmith was very greedy and cunning. One day, a person comes to his shop to repay the loan amount. But to his shop, the goldsmith says, Sorry, I cannot give you the ornaments. As per my calculation, you still have to pay me 10,000 rupees. Sorry. I cannot give you the ornaments. Your loan is not yet cleared. The way the goldsmith cunningly cheats people in greed to make more money. People feel cheated and they decided to teach him a lesson. They approach a magician living nearby. They request the magician to help them in teaching the goldsmith a lesson. Don't worry, I will help you. One day, the goldsmith was sitting in his shop. He overhears two people talking about how the magician can double any item we give him. The greedy goldsmith visits the magician with a bag of gold ornaments. How can I help you? I heard about your magical powers of doubling any item people give you. I request you to take this ring and double it. Okay, please close your eyes. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Now open your eyes. Amazing! Sir, I have some gold ornaments. I request you to double these also. Okay, keep them here and close your eyes. Abracadabra. Open your eyes, take your bag and open it only after you go home. Thank you, thank you. So children, what do we learn from the story? Greed pays nothing. Being greedy destroys us. Yes. Greed never allows a person to be happy and satisfied. <laughs> yes children, did you listen to the story? What does it talk about? You should not be greedy, is it not? Yes, did you enjoy? Fine children, and it's time now we open our textbooks, okay? And before that, I would like you all to listen a few things about the author and who is the author of this lesson? The model Millennia author is Oscar Wilde. Fine children, to know more about this author, he was born on October 16th, 1854 in Dublin which is in Ireland okay? and he died on November 30th, 1900 at the age of 46 years in Paris, 
France. Yes, children. And some of his notable works are, here are a few of his notable works. In 1891, his work, The Picture of Dorian Gray and Lady Windmesh Fan, 1893. And next one, The Importance of Being Earnest in 1895. And children, The Ballad of Reading Gold in 1898. These are a few of his works children. Fine. And here he was awarded with a prize as well. What was the prize? Yes, Newdigate Prize. It is a British literary prize children. Have you heard of this prize? The name of this prize? Newdigate Prize? No? Have a look here. And children, before we read the lesson, I want you all to have a look at some of the content words, new words, okay, which you will come across as we read the lesson. And here comes the first word. What is this? Stock exchange. Stock exchange. Hagandre and Makle? Vinimaya Kacheri. Have you heard of this word? Yes. Stock exchange is a medium by which shares are brought and sold. Some of your parents or brothers, okay, your siblings, uncle or aunt would have said, I have got a share. I had got it for rupees 100 and now I want to sell it. I get 250 rupees. So, there may be raise or there may also be chances of, yes, the fall of the investment, fine. You, so, this is called as stock exchange. And the next word is pounds. Okay. Have you heard of this? What does pound mean? It is a currency. It is the official currency. Sometimes known as pound or sterling. Of which countries? United Kingdom, Jersey, the Isle of Man, Gibraltar, South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands and the British Antarctic Territory. Okay, all these places they have the official currency pounds. And children, this is how it looks. Yes. And the next word for the day is Colonel. Kanardali Senapati. Arminal use Madidarala. Fine. And children, Idubando, it's a rank of an officer in the army and in US Air Force, Indian Army, okay, it's a rank, what is the name of the rank, Colonel, Kanardali, Senapati or in the US Air Force also, there is a rank called as Colonel and what is this rank, where does it rank, here is a picture to help you, children, it starts, they are the commissioned ranks, okay, starting with lieutenant, okay, then you have got a captain followed by major, lieutenant colonel and then comes the colonel, okay, higher than the colonel is the brigadier followed by major general, lieutenant general and lastly it is general. Can you list out an officer who was the general in the Indian Army? Well known person. You find? Yes. What is that? General Kariyappa. You have heard of his name, right? Yes, children. And the next word is wrinkled. Wrinkled and reno? Sukku gattuvike. Okay. And you find it in elders. Above 80 plus. Fine. This is how they look. Okay, what do you call this as wrinkled, wrinkled face, wrinkled hands, okay, as the age, we find this. And next children, ragged, ragged and reno, chindi agirodo, chindi and reno, what is chindi, which is torn and which is old, all clothes which are torn and they are old, 
ಈ ಥರ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಹೌದಾ ಬಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫ್ಯಾಷನ್ ಅವರ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಯು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅವರ್ ಟೀನ್ ಏಜಸ್ ವೇರಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೋನ್ ಪ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಎಸ್ ದಟ್ ಅ ಫ್ಯಾಷನ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸಾವ್ರಿನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಾವ್ರಿನ್ ಹಾಂ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ರಿಟಿಷ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಕಾಯಿನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವರ್ತ್ ಒನ್ ಪೌಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟರ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ರಿಟಿಷ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಕಾಯಿನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟುಡೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೌ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಟು ಓಪನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಸ್ ಪೀಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌ ಎಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೆಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮಾಡಲ್ ಮಿಲೇನಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ದ ಮಾಡಲ್ ಮಿಲೇನಿಯರ್ ಬೈ ಆಸ್ಕರ್ ವೈಲ್ಡ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಟು ಓಪನ್ ಪೇಜ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಇನ್ ಯೋರ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಓಪನ್ ಪೇಜ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲಿ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಗೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಲೆಸನ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಫೆಮಿಲಿಯರ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇ ಓಕೆ ದೆರ್ ಆರ್ ಅ ಫ್ಯೂ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶೆಲ್ ವಿ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಫ್ಯೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆರ್ ಆರ್ ಅ ಫ್ಯೂ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಕೆನ್ ದ ಲವ ಲಾರಾ ಮರ್ಟನ್ ಫ್ಯಾನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಇ ಕರ್ನಲ್ ಲಾರಾಸ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ that is alan trevor hose the painter hmm? and next it is baron hausberg the model and you also have gustave nowden who is the messenger these are the characters in the play there is also an attender okay and children listen to the lesson prose 6 The Modern Millionaire by Oscar Wilde The Lover Huey Eskin was a very good looking young man. He was liked and admired by both men and women. He never said an unkind word about anyone. But he was not very clever and never had any money. He was always changing his job and had tried everything. At one time he had worked on the stock exchange which had lasted for 6 months. He had been a tea merchant for a little longer than that but soon got tired of selling tea. Then he tried selling sherry instead but again he failed. At last he gave up trying to work and lived on 200 pounds a year given to him by an old aunt. Now he was in love with a girl called Lara Merton who was the daughter of a retired colonel Lara loved him very much and together they made a handsome couple of course neither of them had any money the colonel although he liked Huey would not allow them get married come to me my boy when you have got 10000 pounds of your own and we will see about it he would say poor huey he was very miserable one morning on his way to see lara huey called in to see a friend of his who lived quite near his friend's name was alan trevor and trevor was a painter he was a strange man with a red beard however he was very clever artist and many people bought his paintings when huey came in he found trevor finishing the full size picture of a beggar man the beggar himself was standing on a raised platform in a corner of the room he was an old man bent and wrinkled with a piteous look on his face over his shoulder he had a ragged brown coat all torn and dirty his thick boots 
were patched and well worn and with one hand he leaned on a rough stick in the other hand he held out a hat for money what a wonderful model whispered huey as he shook hands with his friend a wonderful model shouted trevor at the top of his voice i should think so you won't meet a beggar like him every day poor old man said huey how miserable he looks of course replied trevor you don't want a beggar to look happy do you how much does a model get for a sitting asked huey 10 pence an hour and how much do you get for your picture alan oh for this i get 2000 pounds well i think the model should get some part of that cried huey laughing he's working right as hard as you nonsense nonsense why look at all the trouble of putting on the paint and standing up all day it's not easy work i can tell you now do stop talking i am very busy smoke a cigarette and keep quiet the model after some time a servant came to tell trevor that the frame maker wanted to speak to him don't go away huey he said as he went out i will be back in a moment the old beggar man sat down on a wooden seat that was behind him he looked so lonely and sad that huey could not help feeling sorry for him he felt in his pockets to see what money he had all he could find was a sovereign poor man he thought he needs it more than i do and he walked across the room and slipped the sovereign into the beggar's hand the old man jumped and a faint smile crossed his lips thank you sir he said thank you then trevor arrived and huey said goodbye and left feeling a little silly at what he had done hope you all listened to the lesson did you follow the lesson and did you enjoy listening how was it ha huh? i hear all of you telling oh ma'am we enjoy listening you liked it and the rest of the lesson follows in the next week okay children and here you have read the lesson you have come across the new words and now it's time to comprehend shall we comprehend the lesson yes and here are a few questions for you i want you all to read the questions and recall the story can we do it here we go the first one is what sort of man was huey eskin what kind of man was he i have some points for you he was a good looking young man is it not he was liked and admired by men and women alike he was not very clever and he never had any money the next question what are the various jobs he took up and why we find people sticking on to one job or we also find people who change their jobs why they are not satisfied or they don't get enough money for their living is it not reason varies okay or there's a misunderstanding between the employer and the employee right the reason varies as i told you but here in this lesson okay why did not huey stick on to one job and what were the various jobs he took up right let us list out the jobs he took up huey erickson he was always changing his jobs why children because he was not successful in any one of them okay let us list out what are the jobs he took up okay good someone is telling me miss he worked on the stock exchange very good for how long period did he work there children he worked for 6 months look at the timing look at the period he worked only for 6 months okay then he started selling tea he left the job 
where he was working as the stock exchanger fine he worked in stock exchange quit the job and he started selling tea and he was not happy with that as well and what did he do later yes he started selling sherry what is sherry children it's a type of drink the next question is who was alan trevor you recall while introducing the cast in the play we talked about alan trevor who was he we will see and what was alan trevor doing when huey called on him what was he doing shall we look at the answer yes you are right alan trevor was a painter he was a painter okay he was what was he doing when huey came there he was giving final touches to the life size painting of a beggar and after going this comprehension exercise we have some vocabulary for you what is the vocabulary children shall we have a look at it yes i have some pictures for you here see the first one what is it arm what do you call that as arm okay the next one another chair what is it chair arm and chair together gives you another word what is that arm chair this is how the arm chair looks butter right and look at the next one fly together the new word is butterfly what is this children sun next one flower okay together very good it is sunflower this is how it looks sunflower what are all this you saw sun sun has got a different meaning then you saw flower flower has got a different meaning together you get another word that is sunflower is it not so what do you call them as compound word good you call them as compound word the word itself says there what is compound what is compound two single words which is got different meaning they come together to form a new word and which is got its own meaning right shall we see what is a compound word now you will tell me now what is a compound word compound word is made up of two or more smaller words two smaller words they combine to make a new word which is got a new meaning the picture talks there the picture here the first one is pan followed by cake and the new word is pancake what are the types of compound words are there types in compound words yes the arrows tell you how many types of compound words are there how many three types the first one is open compounds okay what is open compounds a few examples will follow later okay first one open compounds the second one is closed compounds third one is hyphenated compounds children now shall we look at some of the examples for open compounds and here they go ice cream living room high school please notice the words ice cream living room high school yes what do they say there is a space in between the two words alva ondo space ide eradu ice matte cream ge space ide so when there is an open space between the words you call them as open compounds okay closed andre enagadre what does closed compounds mean ha ah, very good guess it right looking at the first example look at the example children earthworm snowball campfire well somebody is prompting that miss there is no space between the words correct that is closed compounds then what is hyphenated compounds one example yes correct someone is telling miss there is an hyphen between words yes children you are right mother in law merry go round and get together 
So, there is a hyphen. The hyphen separates the words. And children, I want you all to work on this. You have to pick out the compound word in each sentence. Shall we try? The first one. Read the sentence. We put the books on the big yellow bookshelf. Okay. So, in this sentence, which is a compound word? I help you. Yes, somebody has guessed it. Correct. See, the compound word is bookshelf. Yes, children. The next one. Look at the next sentence, children. Sheila picks up seashells on the beach. Okay. Which is a compound word? Yes, children. Which is the compound word here? Shall we have a look at it? You have guessed it correctly. It is seashells. Look at this going down. So, this is the compound word. I have got another sentence for you. Have a look at it. The popcorn is popping and smells good. Have you all eaten a popcorn? How does it smell? Good, right? We all love it. Movies, we demand for a popcorn. We all enjoy. And which is the compound word here? Did I prompt it? No, you have guessed it. Correct. Which is the compound word here? Popcorn. Here are a few questions for you children. You will answer this in your notebooks. Kindly copy it down. Submit it to your teacher. Okay. Choose the correct alternative. Which of the following is not a characteristic of Huey Erskine's face? I have listed a few. That is good looks, brown hairs, grey eyes, large eyes. Okay. Which does not belong to his features. Children, the second one. Which of the following works Huey Erskine did not try to earn us living from? Work as a professional jester, work at the stock exchange, work as a wine merchant, work as a tea merchant. You are guessing it. Correct. Yes, children. Go to the third one. Where was the beggar man placed in the study? of Alan Trevor when he was being painted. So, where was the bigger man placed? Choices for you. On a carpet, on a chair, in the corner, on the floor. Okay. Next one. Which of the following is not an attribute of Alan Trevor's face? Puckered face, blue eyes, rugged beard, rough exterior. And you have to answer this as well. Write answers to the following questions in two or three sentences. Huey Eskin remained poor. What professions he adopted but could not succeed? Second one, describe the appearance of the beggar man as he stood in the studio of Alan Trevor. Children, you have to work on compound words as well. Here is the question for you. There is a match the following. You will have to match the word in column A with its word in column B. Yes, children, you will work on this and thank you all for listening. I will see you in my next class. Children, please study, go through the lesson once again, try answering and this is Anthony Mary signing off. Thank you, children.